Wilson33 asks, thoughts on Matt Shackman potentially directing Fantastic Four? All right. So over the last couple of days, it's become very clear that Matt Shackman is very likely to be the director of Fantastic Four. Some of the more reputable, but not mainstream Hollywood press type outlets, but started reporting that Matt Shackman is in talks to direct Fantastic Four. And then it was more people that kind of exist in that rumors leaks world. were like, yeah, I've heard this for a while. I just couldn't confirm it. But now that they're kind of saying it, I'll say it too. I've been hearing this for a while too. Matt Shackman has been in talks to direct Fantastic Four for a while. And then yesterday, Friday, the mainstream movie outlets, Hollywood Reporter, they ran that Matt Shackman is in final talks to direct Fantastic Four. And if you don't know who this is, this is the guy that was the showrunner, main writer for WandaVision, main creative force for WandaVision. So he's done his long list of credits going back a number of years, but inside the MCU, he did WandaVision. So he's worked in this world before. He was lined up to direct Star Trek Four. This, the Chris Pine Star Trek movies, he was lined up, announced, and they were building sets. And in this report from The Hollywood Reporter, they said he's stepping away from Star Trek Four because of scheduling conflicts with Fantastic Four. That sounds like this is a done deal. You don't drop out of working on that major franchise unless this major franchise is pretty much a done deal. So there's like almost like two pieces of information in this. No one is directing Star Trek Four that they have been building sets for. And we now have someone that's not locked, but very, very likely to be directing Fantastic Four. Originally, John Watts was for a long time lined up for about a year. He was lined up to direct Fantastic Four. That's the director of this trilogy of Spider-Man movies. He's instead decided to go off and direct a project for Star Wars. And so it was a question of who is going to do Fantastic Four. And given that they had John Watts, who had done a couple movies when they picked him to do Fantastic Four, and now he's done a trillion of those films. And now they picked someone else that's doing one and did WandaVision. Seems like Kevin Feige wants someone that knows the Marvel system. They don't want to take a risk on a fresh new talent. They want someone that already has some time in the system inside the story group has worked with Kevin Feige before that Kevin Feige likes to work with because fantastic four has a very spotty history being made into movies. Roger Corman did a movie with no budget back in the nineties that was never officially released. You can watch bootleg copies of it. I have, it's not a good movie. And then you had the Tim story movies 15 years ago that to me, they feel like a, a television pilot, television pilot and you know turned into a movie it just doesn't feel big and has no scope and size to it like they're not dreadful they're just not very good either and then of course fan four stick from seven eight years ago just kind of a disaster a very troubled production very troubled writer director a lot of stuff went down on that movie and the movie that we got it legitimately doesn't feel like a completed film because it's not really a completed film in any sort of proper function. Kevin Feige knows all of that. He, he knows the skepticism of the public and he wants to do this right. So he's getting someone he's worked with before that he trusts to work on this project. So what do I personally think about Matt Shackman as a pick? I'm not specifically excited about it or skeptical about it. It's like right in that middle spot of like, okay, cool. Um, I'd like to hear his pitch. I'd like to know more about what they're wanting to do with it. But I can totally be on board with this. I'm not specifically excited. WandaVision is a show that did a lot of things right, but then I don't think it fully paid off in the end. I don't know how much of that is his fault, how much of that is the they were trying to still figuring out how to do these Marvel Disney Plus shows. I don't really know. The problems of WandaVision have been repeated in the other shows, so it's not unique to him. But it did a lot of things right, and it did a lot of things that were very interesting. So that could be a really good sign for him doing Fantastic Four. I've pitched, proposed a number of times, as well as others have. It'd be cool if they did a period piece Fantastic Four movie that kind of ends with them getting stuck in the quantum realm or something like that, that has them like getting showing up in the modern timeline. I think that'd be really cool. 
And they brought in a guy that the whole thing that he's famous for is doing multiple decades worth of sitcom formulas in the MCU and pulling it off. Great. That's one of the things that it did really well. So the idea of him doing it as a period piece in the sixties or something like that, that could be exactly what they're looking to do. Like I would love it if they did like a sixties one, have Hank Pym show up as Ant-Man and in a small role in the film. I would love if they did something like that. Matt Shackman could be the guy that could pull that off and bring just an interesting vibe to it, but also know how to deliver the MCU isms, how to work with Kevin Feige. So he's not who I would have picked, but I don't hear the name and get skeptical or anything like that. I'm okay with it and I'm willing to see what he's looking to do. That's kind of my feelings on it. That's where I'm at. Um, I'm fascinated what other people think about it, what others are going to say about it, but um, I'm, I'm cool with it. 